Well, the House has passed a disastrous health care bill. The Senate's going to take one up soon. And uh, we're hoping that our supporters will urge members of the U.S. House and Senate to vote against any approach that really takes us down this path that the House took uh, very recently. Uh, the bill that the House passed, over a trillion dollars of new spending, huge tax hikes, taxes on wages, on workers, on employers, mandates galore on employers and individuals. It'll end up resulting in rationing and the effect on health care premiums, they're going to be higher. On average, about $3,000 per family over time. This is a disaster. This is the wrong direction. We ought not to be going in this direction. What we could be doing and what we should be doing are the common sense reforms that will actually lower cost and improve accessibility to health care. We ought to give individuals the same tax deduction when they go out and buy health insurance plans that employers get. Employers can deduct the cost of health care, but individuals cannot. We ought to level out the playing field on the tax code in that respect. We ought to create more competition by allowing insurance companies to compete across state lines. Pennsylvania families ought to have hundreds of choices of different insurers and different products so they can pick what works best for their family at the lowest possible cost. And that's what would happen if we allowed competition across state lines. That's what we ought to be doing. And finally, I really believe that tort reform has to be part of this process. We've got too much expense in the direct costs of litigation and medical malpractice insurance, but also the indirect costs of doctors having to practice defensive medicine, ordering tests and procedures that aren't really necessary, but they have to do to avoid uh, the risk of litigation. This is the direction we can head in. Most Pennsylvanians support these ideas. We don't need to have a trillion dollar bill with massive tax increases mandates that will drive people out of private health insurance and onto a government-run plan that they may not want to be on. That's the wrong direction. Let's hope it's not too late and we can still uh, reach out to members of the U.S. Senate and the House, get the kind of common sense reforms that we need, and get away from this big trillion dollar bill.